Hello and welcome to another puzzle video, this time with the Marquise de Cat. First in our series, it's going to be a little more of a straightforward puzzle to start and then we'll ramp up the difficulty as we go along. So here we are in the autumn map. Marquise is sitting at 19 points. It does look like if we don't do anything, this Vagabond is going to win the game. All right, sitting at a menacing 25 points. But the Marquise at 19 actually can win the game on their turn, so this is an end game puzzle. And of course, the best way to win a game of Root is to start by observing. Our starting hand here is a Visit to Friends and a Sappers. And let's take a look at the board as well. The Marquise scores points by building buildings, spending these this wood that moves through connected clearings that they rule. So to make a plan about that, we're going to have to start by looking at any open building slots. All right, I'll go ahead and circle those on the map. We actually have kind of a wealth of building slots to work with, but uh, our warrior count is a little on the low side, so keeping those clearings connected and ruled is going to be very important. Okay, let's move into Birdsong. Uh, and in Birdsong you see all of our sawmills generate one wood each. And just kind of taking a look at this, you can see we have a total of eight wood. Uh, the Marquise, fun fact, only has eight wood tokens total to work with. Uh, so if this were, for instance, to go all the way back around, somehow the Vagabond doesn't win, uh, and the cats don't spend any of this wood, they won't get any extras. So it behooves us to spend it uh, this turn. So with that in mind, if you are an advanced Marquise de Cat player, go ahead and pause the video and plot out your moves to win this game. I will give you a couple of seconds to think about that. And for everybody else, let's start the solve by moving into daylight and asking if we want to craft anything. We technically can craft this sappers if we choose. I think that would probably not be the best idea because the other thing you can do with a bird card is spend it for an additional action. So let's look at our starting three actions and see if we can add one more to make a big difference. Uh, obviously one of those actions is going to be to build, probably here, because we can do that for free. Um, and because we don't control any other open building slots, maybe we'd have to march. Uh, so that's two actions. And then another build somewhere for our third action. We can construct these two sawmills, the last two, for four and five points, so for a total of nine points, which gets us to 28. That won't quite do it, so it looks like we're going to have to spend this bird card. Let's go ahead and do that. Spending it for an action. Working with four actions from here, I think the best thing to do is to position the cat's uh, army on the board in such a way uh, that you'll be able to build. So let's start with the march, and let's see what that looks like. We're going to start by marching into Texas. We're just doing a whole parade. We're taking everybody. Gives us a total of six here to work with. And every time the cats march, they actually get two moves. So this is just move one. Uh, if you are a beginner or intermediate Marquise player, go ahead and pause the video now. Tell me what the next move is going to be. All right, let's see it on the board. The next move is, you guessed it, marching three warriors into this top central clearing. Why three? Well, three gives us rule over that clearing. And now, wood can travel through connected clearings that we rule. Do, 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 do. Over to these building slots. Very nice. So that's action number one. Remember, we have three more to work with. So next step, obviously, going to be building a sawmill for four points. And then let's go ahead and build another sawmill for five points. And we've already spent seven of our eight available wood just with that. So we have one action left, and we're sitting at 28 points. What's the last thing we should do? Final step, of course, we're going to just build again. We're building... This, uh, this first workshop here 
costs one wood and it gets you two points very nice and with that our 11 point swing with the marquise is complete we set it at a commanding 30 points we've won the favor of the woodland and all it took was some moving and some building this puzzle is uh not, nothing too tricky yet but mainly serves to demonstrate the most powerful of the cat's scoring ability namely the last two sawmills the last two sawmills generating nine points a massive nine point swing and also serves to show that that first workshop you build for one wood gets you two points uh, so a little bit of efficiency to be gained there as well all right uh, I want to end this video with a quick announcement uh, coming up soon in the future here uh, I'm happy to announce that me waterman121 and my good friend murder she root will be uh, releasing the initial episodes of a root based podcast uh, called woodland war machine in partnership with the good times society uh, check out the good times society's youtube page they make a lot of great board game content uh, and our, our good friend Jake Michaels over at GTS is going to be our third co-host for the podcast. So look for that coming up in the near future. And until next time, I will see you all around the woodland. Bye.